A very huge welcome to you all. My name is Ahmed and I will be your course lecturer and convener for this subject. In this video, I'll be introducing the course Digital Construction to you guys. Let's start first with some course administration. The course is run fully online. It's worth six units of credit. Uh, in terms of contact hours, you will have approximately one hour of pre-recorded videos, uh, two hours of uh, pre-recorded uh, online workshops, and approximately one hour of online engagement in the form of a uh, discussion portal on Moodle or through live online sessions. Now, in terms of what we will be covering in this course, it will be more towards the implementation of BIM. The lectures will cover the theory that underpins uh, BIM implementation for construction projects, while the online workshops will cover practical aspects of implementing BIM. So the way I split the course is based on this concept of uh, the dimension of BIM. So we'll cover several dimensions of BIM in the course, and these dimensions include 3D BIM, 4D BIM, 5D BIM, 6D BIM, and finally 7D BIM. Now, each dimension represents a specific application of BIM, so that's how you should be thinking of uh, this concept of uh, BIM dimensions. So BIM dimensions are not this crazy uh, visualization um, aspect where you have to sort of visualize 4D and 5D. It's not like that. It's only based on sort of the information that you utilize in order to uh, utilize BIM for a specific application. The best way of describing your learning journey in this course is uh, through using this mountain example. Suppose you had to climb this massive uh, mountain that you see in front of you. Of course, you will have to start from the bottom. And it is at this stage where you will acquire the basic concepts about BIM. And then the next stage would be climbing up so that you reach a stage where you can acquire knowledge independently. Uh, for instance, how to, say, add reinforcement to uh, a beam uh, in BIM. And then next, you will acquire the necessary skills that will enable you to link the various dimensions of BIM together, so linking 4D, uh, so moving from 4D to 5D and 5D to 6D, etc. And then later, moving on to applications in industry. At the pinnacle, you are a BIM boss, and that is what we will aim to achieve by the end of this course. A promise that I always make to all my students is that we will not abandon you during your journey. Now, there are heaps of uh, resources uh, for you to utilize in this course, and it's all uh, done in order to allow you to acquire all the fundamental skills that you need uh, to become a professional at implementing BIM uh, for construction projects. Make sure that you uh, constantly check my uh, YouTube channel because it is on my YouTube channel that I will be posting all the course content and you guys have a link uh, to my uh, YouTube channel as you can see on the slides in front of you. As always, I always like to start my courses with a quote. And for this course, I chose a quote by a great philosopher, Naz El-Kindi, uh, who said, one must not be afraid of new ideas. And there will be heaps of new ideas introduced to you in this course. You will need to experiment uh, with a number of uh, BIM software, that will be introduced to you. You will need to explore some new ideas that you probably have never come across in your past studies. And remember, for this course, practice is the key to success. Here is an additional quote by me. Do not panic or stress. Studying this course will be fun. In terms of the assessments uh, for this course, you guys will have the following you'll have a reflective statement that you will need to submit. Uh, there's going to be two online quizzes in the course. Uh, there's also an assignment, uh, and that assignment will document your learning journey as you implement BIM for a specific uh, project, a small project. And then at the end, there will be the final exam, and that final exam will cover the entire theory that's uh, presented to you in this course. 
Now that we are done with the course administration, let me briefly define to you what BIM is. For anyone that hasn't heard of this uh, term before, uh, there's a number of definitions and we'll go through uh, three of them uh, today. So you can think of BIM as a building design methodology uh, that's characterized by the creation and the use of coordinated, internally consistent computable information about a building project in design and construction. Some prefer to refer to BIM as information-rich architectural 3D modeling, but the definition that I prefer is uh, have linking BIM with a digital representation. So thinking of BIM as a digital representation of a construction project. So a very simple definition that characterizes exactly uh, what we're achieving in BIM. BIM can be used to represent your project across various life cycles and can be uh, adapted to reflect the objectives of all stakeholders that are involved. And that includes uh, owners, architects, engineers and builders. So such a model can be only one, uh, so you don't have to develop a separate model for each, but the idea is that you will develop separate aspects of the model depending on the stakeholder and then you'll have to link uh, all of these aspects together to form the final model. Uh, so for instance a structural engineer would be concerned with the structural model and as such they would need to develop the structural model uh, of your overall project. And then you have your architect who would be more interested uh, say in the design of the overall building. So once you have you know, these models from each individual stakeholder, you can link them all together and that would form the final comprehensive uh, BIM model. BIM covers a number of dimensions um, and that's uh, sometimes confusing for some people and that's why I need to clarify it from the start. So we've got several dimensions and I mentioned these dimensions earlier. So we have 3D BIM and that's uh, where you have the model that includes all your objects and components in your project. The objects are linked to data attributes such as costs, uh, material types, etc. So once you develop that 3D model, uh, all sorts of analysis can be performed. So we're talking about you know, structural analysis, for instance, uh, sustainability analysis, uh, etc. And then you move on to the next dimension, which is 4D. Now 4D is, uh, you can think of it as having the 3D BIM model. Uh, linked to a specific uh, schedule, so a construction schedule. So you have that time aspect that's linked to the model and then you can simulate uh, sort of your construction progression. And then we've got 5D BIM and 5D BIM refers to um, utilizing it for the purposes of cost estimation. So the information that you would need to link is, um, you know, cost, uh, unit costs that are associated with the materials of, of specific objects and also with uh, workmanship as well. Um, you also have 6D BIM, which is another separate dimension, and that's concerned with uh, any sustainability analysis, so utilizing the model to conduct, uh, let's say, for instance, uh, a daylight analysis or a solar analysis of the building. And then finally, we have 7D BIM, and that 7D BIM is where you are using the model uh, for the purposes of uh, managing your facility. So at the very end of the project, when you hand it over, and then uh, the person that's looking after the project during its operation phase, they can utilize that, uh, the BIM model, in order to run their facility. Now, one point that I have to mention is that you, you'll find in the literature that sometimes uh, people refer to 6D BIM as facility management and then 7D uh, BIM as sustainability. But in this course, I will stick to uh, 6D BIM being sustainability analysis and 7D BIM being facility management. An important concept when it comes to a uh, BIM model is its LOD. Now, LOD refers to the level of development of a BIM model. In other words, uh, what the term uh, says is it indicates the level of completeness to which a model element is developed. There are five LOD levels as defined by the American Institute of Architecture uh, based on document E202 in 2008, known as the, uh, the BIM protocol exhibit. These levels are LED 100, and that is used for conceptual designs, 
LED 200, and that's used for approximate geometries, LED 300, and that's used for models with precise geometry, and then LED 400, which is um, implemented when the models are adopted for fabrication. And then finally, you have the highest level, which is the most accurate uh, modeling, and that's LOD 500, and that's uh, used uh, as the as-built model. So what can be achieved with BIM? There's heaps of stuff that you can achieve with BIM. Uh, from a BIM model, you can get all your documentation that you need to uh, construct your project. So I'm talking about construction drawings, uh, structural drawings, details, uh, etc. Uh, you can have uh, rendered views for uh, client presentations. You can simulate your project in 4D after linking it with a construction schedule to monitor the progress of works. You can produce cost estimates. You can conduct a wide range of sustainability analyses. You can, um, you can also run your structural analysis in BIM. Um, so these are all applications that we will be covering in this course. So make sure that you stay tuned and I'll see you soon in some other videos.